every time. I think it's pretty cool though. Wow, wow, that why? Why? Why such a low Uh just see jumping earlier? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Hey, everybody. So, hi. You're here in the voice of Sean Velasco, and uh, I'm a designer here at Yacht Club Games, and I was the director of Shovel Knight. Also here is Nick Wozniak. Everybody calls me Woz, um, and I do animations here at Yacht Club. Um, and so you're hearing us give commentary on this awesome speedrun. Yeah, we're big speedrun fans, and we've, we've watched our fair share of speedruns of many games, so we're excited to, to dig into this one. No, yeah. no pun intended. Like seeing the, the output of the display, like what he's pressing, because, like, that's always really impressive. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, the amount of buttons you have to press, you just like to be... It, he's orange because he, he entered a cheat code, right? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Right. That's not a, a typical armor that you can just have. Right. But I think they change it just so you can have a little bit of interest when you're, yeah. when you're doing this, right? I guess when you play the game like a thousand times, literally, uh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta like yeah. find it over uh, and over and over. Yeah, but but yeah. Like, I've I don't know, I've loved speed running ever since playing Super Metroid back on the Super Nintendo, and that was like I don't know before speed running was a big thing. Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh yeah, could I beat it in under two hours? Like, could you could you get the best well, ending? When the game puts a timer. Like on the right at the end, yeah, it makes a lot of sense why you'd like sit there and want to figure that out. Yeah, we should have had more of those like weird hallways that you just like mash jump through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, by jumping and attacking, obviously he's he's uh, making it so he doesn't stay still when he's on the ground. So yeah. by doing like those little short hops, that helps a lot. Yeah. So I guess to be fair, we've never actually sped run. Uh, I've never sped run a game. I never put her, especially Shovel Knight. Right. Uh, or at least not something that would be like in like AGD. No, anything, not right? for sure. No. <laughs> no. You, no. Okay. A lot of or you sometimes. I thought there was a skip up there, but I think that we actually. Oh no, no, no he's no, going to do it. it. Yeah. yeah. So, so we we know about this skip, but we kept it in because it was so cool. You can actually, yeah, <laughs> you can get outside the boundaries and just end up. I tried it. doing that the other day actually, and I, I guess I don't have the technique, but you have to go left, I guess. Yeah. So much of this stuff looks so easy when you see the player doing it, but when you actually try to accomplish it, it's like impossible. Yeah, I tried doing this too, the, the, the stun-locking Black Knight. Uh-huh. It's like surprisingly difficult. Yeah, like a lot of these techniques are things that we had, that we wanted to happen in the game. Yeah, I that it's very clean. <laughs> <laughs> Those are things that we wanted to happen in the game. <clears throat> um, like to be able to hit Black Knight over and over again without yeah. Uh, without him being able to do anything, right? To get that stun lock, but watching it done so perfectly is like pretty yeah. impressive. And well, and it's also like hard to plan for those kind of things. Like you can't like say like, oh, I bet like we can do this with Black Knight, or I bet like this technique will will go faster. You just have to plan to make sure that like when there is something that's faster, it's not annoying. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> like we yeah. we bring up the the side jump that Link does and. And Ocarina of Time all the time. Right. Where he yeah. just sounds like he's like, <laughs> right, right, right. We would never want this. Yeah, you don't want the this. stage. <laughs> right. You don't want that speed run of the game to look like just gross. Yeah. Right? Or broken too much. You right. Know? Yeah. I like mm -hmm. how we went into the village and just right back out again. Because you have to you have to <laughs> enter the village in order to go to the next part oh, of the right, game. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. So just boom. Nice beetle bounce as well. <laughs> So we were talking about whether this is lava or hot oil the other day. It's coming out of the cauldrons. It is. Where, where did we land? It's lava? It's well, lava, it's right? orange, so it's lava, right? But I mean, yeah. you, but you imagine those cauldrons to be oil, like in, a, in, a, real, in a real castle. But in, in, but in Camp Cards, there's like lava everywhere, so. That's true. So now it's canonical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So when, when we when we made the game, we had to figure out like what a good time was for the speedrun achievement because there's an achievement that's or a feat in our game that you can like. Oh. Right. Beat, beat the game as quickly as possible. <laughs> this is the jiggling button. Yeah. Let me just go left to right, left to right, left to right. <laughs> um, but yeah, beat the game as fast as possible, and but we didn't want that to be like too hard. Right. So we all kind of sat down and said like how fast we could actually get through it. Right. And then like added. 20 minutes or whatever like yeah when you're working on the game you tend to get really good at it and, and you can get through everything pretty quickly i think our i think the the achievement time for the speed run is was 90 minutes 
Mm -hmm. But it, yeah, but this is a 42 minute run, so that's like it's ridiculously it's fast. Definitely not like world record pace to get that achievement. But it yeah. is sort of like a good way, to like introduction. Like, yeah, don't do any nonsense. You can fail a few times. It's okay. Yeah, don't don't waste time going to the side areas. I mean, it's just right. like Super Metroid, right? Like if you like all the even even the most difficult Super Metroid uh, like endings, you could still get pretty easily as long as you really, really try your best. Yeah, definitely. A lot of, and it just takes a lot of practice. You have to know the game, yeah. Definitely. And like know where to skip. Yeah. Watching his inputs is just like nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of times players will press another, well, they'll be pressing another button to kind of like help buffer the timing between everything. So yeah. it's like you'll be you'll be mashing something that isn't even doing anything. That's why that was so, that was like so fast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, buffering isn't as big a deal as it is in like Plague of Shadows, though, where you have to be constantly charging up an attack or constantly thinking about the next like jumps that you're gonna be making. Right. Yeah. Like this is the this is the original Shovel Knight, right? Yeah. R released in 2014. So there's been like several Shovel Knight games after this that uh, that all have speed runs of, of varying uh, difficulties. I think. Yeah, I think the, the one of the more fun ones to watch is the Specknight one because it's all skating. <laughs> he just right. like slides around. Well, you can choose the stages in any order as well. I actually oh, haven't right. seen that many King of Cards playthroughs, um, no, like as far either. as the speed run goes. But I bet you that tech is getting pretty awesome. Yeah, I was. <clears throat> uh, so Moo is one of the guys who who runs Moo Moo Kai, and he was saying that like the role makes it so that you have to be really precise all the time. <laughs> and you have to be like, he said it's kind of annoying, but it's also like oh. kind of interesting. That was so. nice, he just used the, he just used the flashing time of Super Skeleton to get up there. Like that skip to get up to the, yeah. to get up around there, like that, we knew that was in there, right? Like yeah. if, if you're uh, if, if you're doing things, like I think even an average player could do that with a little bit of practice. It's really fun to put <clears> in <throat> skips that, that players of varying skill levels yeah. can can get in there. I know that Alec took a, uh, one of the level designers named Alec Faulkner um, for King of Cards. He took a big pass at adding um, like skips, like, skips specifically with like the samurai scepter. Um, right. Or you, the, you or mean the scepter of swift? Scepter of swift. It is called that. Yeah. Samurai scepter is what it, that was the working title. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the times we use the names of things because like they're they're called Samurai Scepter for yeah. literally like eighteen months. I forget the final then, names of so And then stuff. the final thing is like a thing that we come up with like like yeah, a month before it's ships. It's sorry. The scepter of scepter swiftness. Of swiftness. <laughs> <laughs> that it, sounds so wrong. It's interesting because he hasn't gotten any uh, he hasn't gotten any relics. No, oh, yeah. And so like a lot of these rooms that you could skip with a relic, he's having to do manually. Yeah. But I guess it's not worth the time to go to the village and buy something. It's like just not worth it. Yeah, of course. But it's cool to have that like options in there so that, you know, I think I think I would assume that like developing a run for the or a route for the game is like fun, interesting, because you get to like make decisions like that. It's not just like get to the end, it's you know, hopefully it's like thinking about your your route and your money and, and like what equipment you need here. Right. Um, yeah, and a lot of times those those things will change, oh. right? Over like God, as, I think that's so crazy. <laughs> I know, right? As speedrunners find more and more tricks, right. then it's like, oh, I just I found out that I don't even need this heirloom, or like, oh, I got this relic and now it, it I can get. Well, I like his little jump up to the top there. Well, that's actually uh, time saving, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, for some, uh, I'm not sure why. Because you land more quickly. Yes. Or something. Maybe, I don't know. That's Maybe has, I. There's something in there that's like itching in the back of my head of surprise memory goes. It's cool that you can just get them like in the blender like this. It just yeah. reminds me of Castlevania Three when you stun lock the Grim Reaper using uh, using the cross. You know, yeah, you get yeah, three yeah, crosses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes. If you, if you do that, <laughs> yeah. we 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 recently saw where that didn't work. And we we played Castlevania Three recently, and Alec had a hard time finding death because yeah. he didn't have a it's cross. It's like so hard. Well, that's the thing, right? Like these <laughs> yeah. things are so hard. Like I remember players get stuck on Spectre Knight and you'll just be fighting them like forever. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, I need a, I need a chalice to be able to beat him or I need an item to be able to beat him. Mm -hmm. But it's like this guy's just slamming through everything. Yeah, AGQ is good because they're like, or like speedrunners in, in general. They're good because you get to like watch 
um, a bunch of people like just destroy games that you consider way too hard. Right. And, and you're like, oh, I can do that. And, and then like, right. <laughs> right. you try, and it's like, no, it's impossible. And like in here, he's like intentionally getting hit because dying is faster than waiting for Shield Knight to fall down. Yeah. And then just boom, leaving without even getting the meal ticket. Oh, I mean, it's like it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, so we're right. pretty in tune with like how this develops, and we've added like patches and stuff to make things easier. Like, uh, I, I don't, I don't know, two years in, we released a patch so that if you're on a certain pace, um, Reese doesn't spawn to like mess with you. Right, there are wandering encounters that can appear on the map. Yeah, <clears throat> one of them is a fight that where the characters could move around and, and go in front of the player, but if you it's basically RNG, right? Like, if you yeah. have to play that battle, then you basically lost your run. Yeah, because... and it's like 10 minutes in, so it's like annoying to have to, like, just decide 10 minutes in that you can't finish. Right. You know? It's like something that's not your fault, so... What is so... he gonna do? Yeah, I know. This would be... See, if he had an item, if he had, like, the propeller dagger or something, he could, like, get through here. He's gonna just tap nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and... And... <laughs> Very good. Wow, that's great. <laughs> that's so cool to watch. Not even stopping for the money. I guess he doesn't really need it for anything, right? He probably knows exactly how much money he needs for a, a trip. Do you think he's going to buy anything? Uh, I think you do buy something. In yeah. I'm not sure. Because he's, he, like, he's collecting money for a reason. Well, he broke a few like the checkpoints earlier. That takes a lot of time. Right. It's not just for showing off. <laughs> right. <laughs> Although it is for showing off. I thought he was gonna thread the needle with those blorbs. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get dust knuckles, huh? Oh uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't seen this run in a long time. Well, it changes as well, yeah. right? I wonder what he's gonna use these for. Oh, you're right. He is collecting the money. I wonder what he's gonna get. Well, I think the dust knuckles help with killing bosses because you can like go that, through them yeah, really fast. Right. Yeah, because the dust knuckles, like when you when you hit a boss in, in Shovel Knight, you're invincible, uh, or, or they can't hurt you. Right. They have some flashing time. Right. During that time, you can pass through them without taking damage. Oh, <laughs> is that what you're supposed to do? I mean, I can get, yes, right? <laughs> I just keep like, oh no, 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 no. But yeah, the, using the dust knuckles, you can like manipulate that time to keep like in the air a little bit on top of the person. Right, I don't like that. He yeah, just yeah. went right through him without taking any damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Right. No. No. It's just it's just fun because this is the stuff that's so hair raising. This is the part. This is supposed to be the end where the where the player is really sweating. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> just goes right through. That's great. And those are put there and like look, on he's purpose. Got two, he got two mana. Enough yeah. for exactly how do you? Yeah, but he's going to get some more. Yeah. Nice full mana for the boss. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I wasn't even thinking about the magic count, but that's like really critical also. Yeah. Getting two hits every time he goes by. If you could, if you could get him before the before the first uh, before he does he goes into his jumping lava. Oh, thing. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he didn't even do one cycle. Nice. Yeah. That's amazing. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> tap and tap and tap and tap. And. Yeah. Their fingers are like stuck in that mode. Right. Anybody who plays. That means that he's playing it on the keyboard as well. Unless he's got Joy Key. Which is like something that I just like never. I like I can't play Shuffle Knight on keyboard at all. Even no. after debug, debugging the game a million times, <laughs> I still like pick up a controller yeah. to do it. Yeah, I do a lot of keyboard and stuff, but it's just because I'm not. But I'm not like playing it. When I'm playing it for real, I have like a a hard time because <laughs> yeah. like my brain wants it to keyboard a little bit. Yeah, I mean it should it shouldn't really make a difference, but to, it's just so natural for me to use a controller at least. Yeah, just muscle memory. Sliding right through. Well, exactly the timing of it. Yeah, it's so hard to hit those rats without exploding. But, wow, just nice. We try to place all those platforms such that if you're going as fast as possible, they'll be in the right spot for you. Yeah. So I think he's taking good advantage of that as well. Definitely. Yeah, 
So we, we are aware of a lot of the techniques, but we're not. Oh, whoa! Right, <laughs> where everything. No, you can stand because you can yeah. stand on the corner there. That always bugged me. I, I wish that it was flush, but you can use it to your advantage. So hey, there you go. Oh, good. oh, he's gonna get the coin. Interesting. Interesting. Wow, I can't believe this is the this is the path. Yeah, that he's really going out of his way to get these relics. Propeller, oh, propeller daggers are your last one to get, right? Uh, that's just like so usual. Yeah, that's one. That's a bummer about the original Shovel Knight is that because the order is so mm -hmm. it's so set, you can't get like the propeller dagger early, or you can't get the later items early. Yeah, it'd be really fun if you could do a run where you got all that stuff early on, or you could make that kind of choice. And that, that's like what Spectre of Torment is, right? Definitely. Uh, he's just going to destroy. The he's only got six mana. Monster. One second, one second, one second, one second, come on. Hooray! Nice. Wow, and right, right <laughs> up. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> Just effortlessly. Yeah. This one. Whoa, man, he damage boosted. Oh, yes! Right, and the, yeah, that's another that's another uh, skip that we knew about. Where you, you can grab that ladder. You, yeah. I, we didn't want to put a ceiling. There are false ceilings in almost every room in the game right. that disappear once you scroll oh, to the next oh. screen. And up there, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so those false ceilings usually they're on almost every screen, but in that one we didn't want to put it there because that fairy that you're fighting against uh, it, it'd interfere with it and you bonk your head. It would seem weird. So we just left it, even though you could grab the ladder. Here comes the Plague Knight battle. Is he going to use that coin? Looks like it. That's surprising. I guess it just covers. Wow, 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 wow. Whoa! That was so fast. That's a lot fast. Like, when I, last time I saw a Shovel Knight, like vanilla run, like, it wasn't as optimized, I guess. Yeah. I've not seen a play night fight that go that well. That's really, really great. It's Maybe like, that's just like what the standard is now. It's like so optimized. I remember playing this game and being like one hour and five minutes. Mm -hmm. That was like the best I could do. And it was like, could, uh, it's like, I'm sure when it comes out, people will be able to beat it in an hour. Yeah. And this is like a 40 minute run. It's like <laughs> so insane. <Yeah. laughs> oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> well, I don't think that's a spoiler. Is it? I don't think. The segments, I, th I think the segments... Well, actually, yeah, that's all the show. Sure. We'll see how far, how fast they go. Okay, so now he got, he just got the battery bounder, right? Or, oh, what, I, 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 I wasn't paying attention. I don't even remember, I don't even remember what the real <laughs> I guess we'll find this. It's the one where you can get, uh, you can get an extra charge with oh, the, the battery, the battery bounder, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't use the dust knuckles to go through there. Over to the this, oh. Yeah, well, they, they can really, yeah, see, those are put there just for that. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it just helps you go right through everything. When you were doing your, your playthrough, were you, like, adding ways to, like, go faster? Well, we took, we definitely took a pass on all the stages to make it so the relics could be more useful right so we put in if you see a structure of like three dirts in a row a lot yeah. of times i'm trying to it's like we're trying to tell the player hey use the dust knuckles here because the dust knuckles can go through those groups of dirt mm -hmm. um so like little bridges were put here and there to try and make it more uh, convenient well and also like the dust knuckles originally went through whoa whoa, whoa that's cool. great wow right <laughs> as they're coming out i didn't know about that that's yeah. amazing oh and you can go right through that too um, but yeah, the the original design of the dust knuckles is that they went through three all at once. Oh yeah, that was a while ago. They're though. so fast. I know he bought the charge blade, not the battery bounder. Unless he did both. I see. No, no, you're right. Nothing you can do to speed this up, really. Yeah. Other than just decimate him once you get here. It seems yeah. like it's still on the menu. <laughs> yeah. You know, decimate. Uh, that yeah. just means like you, you out for every ten you kill one. Yeah. You know. So that's not even that. That's not <laughs> even that bad, really. I thought it was reduced to ten, to a ten. 
No. It's reduced by a ten. It's reduced by a ten. Oh, okay. So, so just, that's like getting just... decimated isn't even a big deal. <laughs> really? You got you're still got ninety percent left. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna look it up. <laughs> Clearly. Wait, he became nice. purple. Nice needle threading. Maybe he's wearing oh, a major armor. Oh, that's a good one. Just a lighting on it for a moment. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. The coin. It's though? worth taking the damage, I guess. Yeah. Huh. And he goes for the health as well. Well, I think he has major armor. Guys are rolling in purple. Oh, really? we should have paid attention. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not a. I'm surprised there's not a turkey there. Hmm. At the right. That's why he picked it up because there's not a turkey on the right, right. on the antechamber to fight in Treasure Knight. Treasure Knight's usually a pretty quick fight anyway. Yeah. Because you can, he just stays in the ground. Well, and that, that so shows fast. why he needs the turkey because yeah. he can take two hits. Yep. How does the knight breathe? Well, don't worry about it. We'll just have bubbles come out of his helmet. Bubbles come out. That shows at least he's breathing. I guess. You know, but in the Specter of Torment, Specter Knight, no bubbles come no out. No bubbles come out. Yeah, because yeah. he's like undead. <laughs> That's attention to detail. <laughs> but it is. Yeah, you can see uh, next up is Flying Machine. I'm sure he's going to get the propeller dagger. Oh, as soon as he can. Yeah. And I imagine take damage here and get yeah. killed. So it's a little bit faster. Yeah, running into the potion because that does even more damage. Oh, oh nice! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Gone before you even see <laughs> I guess we're not going to get to see the catapult or the Hall of Champions. Definitely or not, no. the side stages. There's Reese. There or goes. many bosses, yeah. <laughs> Time. I think it's pretty cool though. Wow, wow, that why? Why? Why such a low uh just see jumping earlier? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, wow. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can you can quick select your relics by pressing L and R yeah. on the controller or by I guess on keyboard, whatever it's Q. Yeah. Um that's so interesting. Oh no, he's he's using the keyboard, right? Because can't you use like one through you can use like like zero through nine to just choose the relics oh. immediately. So that makes it like really super quick to be able to Is that swap. What he's doing? That really makes everything go a lot more quickly, right? Like he can just yeah. go he can just go through everything and switch automatically. It like makes it super convenient. I, I guess that makes PC the most uh, that, that probably makes it the, yeah the most optimized version. Um, yeah, for a while though, they were running the Wii U version. Right, right, because you could like tap the actual relic. Right on a Wii U and 3DS, you can use the touch screen to select your relics. Well, that's nice, and he's going to jump right up to the top there. I wonder if it's faster just to do the keyboard now, though. I bet you it is. The way, wow, the way that you can use that, uh, the way that you can use that coin and just the use the dust again. knuckles yeah. to go through it is like insane. That basically gives you an extra jump. That's like not something that we intended on people doing. Definitely at all. not. We, it was hard to think like that anybody could do relic like synchronization like that. Well, because yeah. it, initially you couldn't, right? Yeah, like you had to first select, it, right? You had to like pause. Slow. Yeah. But with quick select, oh, 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 he's fine. Yeah. Now it's gonna be like he's gonna obviate like all these. Yeah. Just like it's gonna be so fast to get through. Wow, oh. the relic switching is just like amazing. It's untrackable. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just seems like Shovel Knight has all that stuff just, always yes, available. Yes. Like any his, button, right? Like you could just jump. Oh, we should do it. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure auto scrollers are like the most annoying thing for any speedrunner, right? Because you just yeah. have to wait. There's no way to make this faster, so you just gotta yeah. do a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> but they're good for, for normal gameplay because it allows us to like really control like what's happening. And so like you have to actually think about, you know, am I gonna jump all these jump on all these platforms all at once or am I gonna wait a little bit? Like it, it, it creates like a really intentional pace from level design perspective, right? Yeah, it makes you it, it makes you wait. It makes you have to deal with whatever's on the screen for an amount of time that we get to control. Which uh, you know, if we can't control it, then that's when you get speedrunners doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Got a little too fancy there. I wonder if the timers are uh, are off. There we go. 
Maybe he did it on purpose to reset the global timer. I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, maybe. But global, I mean, none of these run on a global timer. Oh, no. The only things that run on a global timer, but there are very few items. Basically, like, uh, what we mean is when, when you get into a room in Shovel Knight, then everything spawns and all the timers begin. Uh, except for some items Whoa. that those really good. So scary. <laughs> uh, some some objects in the game are running on a global timer, meaning from the from the moment that you start the level, everything starts. Oh my god! You just go to right through it. I, I haven't seen that that technique. That's a really really scary. That propeller dagger just does it. So anyway, things on a global timer. Sure. Yeah. If you mess up something even five rooms previous, that could screw up the cycle in five yeah. rooms later, right? So if yeah. something's on a global timer, it makes it a lot harder to navigate. Wow! Before wow. even the things were broken out, the floor breaks out, or it's supposed to break out in this level, but you know, so much for that. Is it, oh yeah, yeah. There's holes in right. Here. The cannon breaks the floor. <laughs> I was like, what yeah, are you talking but about? it never broke it. <laughs> oh yeah, plus five. <laughs> One thing that I like about this, about the Shovel Knight runs, is that you don't often have to stop the game and restart it. Like so many times mm. when you're speedrunning a game, you reset it, and then to start to like give yourself some kind of advantage. Sure. But in Shovel Knight, you play the whole thing, I think, straight through. Yeah, it's, and it's less glitch heavy and more like. It more mechanic driven. Yeah. That's why I mean those are the kind of games that I like to watch just when someone has to like do the thing and, and right. like do it well. Yeah. Um, and they don't. And and maybe like the glitches are funny or like fun to watch, but if they're like few and far between, I think it's much more rewarding. One of my favorite speedruns to watch is um, the Bionic Commando, the two D one. The, 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 rearmed? No, yeah, rearmed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because that's a great one. If you or do that's it, a great game. I mean. Yeah, but if you do a, a down slam or something, he starts shouting, and it doesn't end until he hit the ground. But if you land on a moving platform, he never stops. And so the entire <laughs> the entire speed run is just like him going ah the entire oh time. It's great. Love it. Uh, <laughs> but those kinds of things like add a lot of flavor to like um, what can be like kind of dry. So well, a speed run is a performance. Right? Yes, exactly. A, like the I think the best ones are entertaining, both from a both from a skill perspective and like from an acting perspective. Right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oof, and so if you've right. played if yeah. you've played this game at all, you understand like how like difficult a lot of those these maneuvers are and so like you can appreciate the performance in the same way that when, when someone has them uh, just yelling the entire time. There's some like value to that too. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, and he's charged up in yeah. the in the beginning. And look, he's just riding the edge of it too. He's waiting. That's so cool. Or silver gold armor. Like, we knew you could ride that platform on the spikes, that's like yeah. sort of the point, but just like the way that he does it with that finesse is insane. Yeah. Play Knight getting through that. That is really cool. Play Knight getting through that room is really cool. Um, I wish Spectre Knight had to get through that room too. All those Spectre yeah. would just like hold down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another vertical or a, another auto. What do we call them? Uh, auto scroller. Yeah, this would be called a vertical auto scroller. Vertical scroll. auto scroller. Yeah, you can't really control. Uh, I was gonna say auto runner, but that's like not at all the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean the there's a fake ceiling up above here, so he can't just run up and right. go on all those platforms because they haven't spawned yet. So yeah. you got to stay on screen, and you can't like transition the screen until the screen is totally done. Right. Right. So he's up there dancing. Right. He's just <laughs> waiting. Yeah, until it gets to the top, then you can't actually progress. And the hit of Tinker Knight. Yeah, he's that's a that's dead. a quick kill. So if you just hit him with that one time. And he's gonna use the he's gonna get up on the top of there before it even like starts, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, good. Like, yeah. The coin goes behind the boss. I don't even know if we knew that. I definitely didn't know that. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just so fast. Yeah. It goes to show that like we don't test games to this level. I mean we can't. It's like impossible. Yeah. There's no I mean, the the tech that you have to develop to I mean, like, player tech, I mean, to do yes. some, this kind of stuff just takes, like, years. Yeah, definitely. It's cool. It's like in, I don't know, like in a fighting game, like in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, they kept finding new and interesting tech Yeah. for, like, 
and who the best player was or who like the best top tier character was like kept changing right because people would find out new things yeah yep just flying through everything i like the snapping that they like he really knows like how to use the dust knuckles to like snap even like up almost a half tile higher right than what the character is yeah because when you use those dust knuckles it aligns you with the yeah it aligns you with the block so you could use it to sneak up extra half a tile. Yeah, you're not supposed to know that as a player. <laughs> That's supposed to be like a like a little helpful thing that we do for yeah. you. It's there to it's there to just help align you. Yeah, but but you know, boom! Didn't even touch the snow. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fun also talking to people who like know the game better than you, even though you made it. You know, like <laughs> you'll be talking to anybody who does the speed runs. They're like. They'll be able to. <clears throat> they use jargon that we don't understand, you know, like as far as like talking about what the techniques or certain things are called. Yeah. Um, they'll just talk about like techniques and like twists and things that we just didn't even think about. Um, what I love about speedrunners also is that they take so much pride in breaking oh, yeah. the game and finding these little skips everywhere. Yeah. Like when you see it all put together like this, it's just really impressive. It's an art in and of itself. Yeah, for sure. Is there's definitely like a root to it. I don't, I don't know how like, is there like another analog in in the world that's like like you develop like a little like your own little path through something, and then you can really perfect it. I'm sure there is. Yeah. Like Ninja Warrior. Oh yeah. Right. You're like you're, you're trying to go through it as fast as you can, but they don't let you like they don't let you like skip the rings, right? You know, it's like well, you gotta no, you, do them all. You, I think you can. I think like the, what's well. You can't like, yeah. Like, I guess you could skip one ring. You can't crawl along the outside of the right. thing. Like, yeah. the, the, what's hard about that is obviously like being you strong enough strong. to do it. Yeah. This is like being nimble enough to like hit a thousand buttons a second. I mean, just seeing like how many times they hit, like we said yeah. before, but, like how many times, you know, <laughs> like look at eight right. and four, like oh, I can't even do that. It's just isolated. And it's over. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm always yeah. I'm always afraid. Like if you try to get inside Polar Knight's hitbox and hit him a bunch of times, then you don't take damage, which means that you fall right on the spikes and die immediately. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's like that's it's really easy to get murdered like that. Yeah, being tracking all the noise that happens and like keeping track of like all the stuff that's like constantly <laughs> coming up. Yeah, he's definitely like able to switch between weapons. Seven and nine. I guess you only need. Those map there. This is the last shield knight section. Yeah, that he's gonna skip through. I guess those do those two a damage and a half. Oh, it's because he's got he's the magic major, armor, major, right? Yeah, Sorry, yeah. we said that like a hundred times, and I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll just never learn it. Right. So like when you have that magic armor, you take more damage. So that's yeah. like even more risky. Yes, definitely. But you can do a lot more. You can use your weapons and your abilities a lot more. Yeah. So makes it worth it. Yeah. All right. Kinda. Now we go into the final, into the final run in the tower. This is where everything all comes together, and all of the elements from all the previous stages are combined and d difficulter and more interesting. Ways. <laughs> yes, but it's cool. It's cool seeing like the lava fish next to a wisdom, next to like a gear wisdom of all things, right? right. Next to like a propeller rat. Oh, oh, Ooh. oh. Usually, <laughs> see, I we put that rat there because you could sort of bounce on the rat. Yeah, but he didn't even do that. I, I bet you that's like more. Uh, I bet you it's like more safe to do it like that. Yeah, or you get it a hundred percent of the time. The rat sometimes it doesn't work. The how? <laughs> yeah, the way you would anticipate. This is like one of the hardest sections in the game. This this uh, yeah this up and down crushing layer. So it'll be interesting to see how he tackles this. But I think. For a speed, not probably not for a speedrunner, right? Because it's like very like timed out and metered, and you know exactly where to go. Like for this, this is like unknown. Yeah, there's not too much randomness there. Maybe yeah. these guys' behavior is a little bit random. Yeah. Wow. wow. Make it to the thing so fast, and that's on a global timer, right? Like we were oh, talking okay. about the global timer. The cauldrons are one of the only things in the game that's on a global timer. So, really? so, so he had to get he there at that moment. Well, he couldn't have known exactly when it was going to happen. Right. So I think he was just like, oh, I got a propeller dagger over there. Yeah, seize that propeller dagger. <laughs> gotta use it. So you gotta go fast. How much is his max mana? I wasn't paying attention to that. 
I'm not sure. It's not a lot though because you didn't get any upgrades, right? Oh, but yeah. it does increase having the magic armor increases your yes. increases your max mana mana. Oh my god, that's so crazy. <laughs> it's very hairy. <laughs> the story stuff happens. We really take pride <laughs> at the Yacht Club in making everything skippable and everything fast. Yeah. So we don't force you to watch any cutscenes, we don't force you to read any dialogue, we really try to keep that from happening. See now, we, you know, you're supposed to be able to stun lock the original Black Knight battle. Not this but one. this one, <laughs> you were like, that is like not in the card. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, okay. Right, like, like especially where he, Black Knight's supposed to have this attack where he jumps up and shoots fireballs across yes. the screen for a long time. If that happens, you lose so much time, yes. so they must have really tried to work to make it so. That did not occur. Yeah, because he's, he's totally invincible during that whole thing. Right. Yeah. yeah you can, like, can't damage him. But that like skipped so many so many other things. It's like a whole second phase. Right. The meteors coming down. <laughs> all that cool stuff that we made for you. <laughs> yeah. Not, you're welcome. Yeah. Well, so, so much for that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Put the spikes. Man, just so, so many of these things are so risky. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the this that part right there. That's like where I died the most. See, and there's those three yeah. those, those three dirts in a row. Three, 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 like, three, hey, yeah. use the use the dust knuckles here. Wow, that was very clean as well. Not getting hit during that is like so impossible. Yeah, it sure is. And then this is also like one of the hardest sections in the game. Wow, are Whoa. you kidding me? You can okay. do that? I guess yeah, so. You know what? I think I, I maybe I sort of knew that. I've <laughs> never seen that used like that. On top, I knew I knew about being in front and doing that. Well, because it hits behind you. Yeah, yeah. but not on top. That's, That's amazing. Cool. Oh, what, you're not gonna break the checkpoint? Come on, he doesn't need it. <laughs> and you know, we said that he was collecting the gold for some reason, yeah. but. He stopped going after checkpoints. Yeah, I guess he didn't. He doesn't need it anymore. He needed like the last thing was the dagger. Yeah, to buy the to buy that stuff. In the, end. the final auto scroll. Oh yeah, I get the the one and only music note. Uh, <laughs> may as well. <laughs> yeah, and here I guess there's not a whole lot that he could do to speed things up. I'm surprised he's not doing the wiggle back and forth. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, he like knows where Liquid Samurai is coming. Yeah. He's jumping through it. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I imagine he's doing something. It's like there's some purpose for that, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. Or he's just bored. I'm not sure. Yeah, I remember choosing, uh, should these be the blocks you have to hit twice or the blocks you only have to hit once? How you could yeah. carve your way through them? And then, yeah, once again, you gotta wait for the auto scroll to scroll all the way up before you can move. So he's just gonna have to hold on there for a moment. Yeah. For a short moment. We put all those blocks there to try and slow you down so the auto scroll would stop. Oh man, four health in this battle is gonna be so hard. And he's mage armor. So it takes, he takes extra damage. Mage armor in the game plus is, is impossible. <laughs> yeah, it's like so hard. Yeah, but this is, I mean, look. Yeah, in Shovel Knight's new game plus mode, you all of the turkeys are replaced by bombs, and you take more damage, and there are no checkpoints, right? Jeez. Or there, there's fewer checkpoints. There's one checkpoint in each level. Yeah, before, so. and, well, there's two. There's one in the middle, one in the boss. Yeah, you get to keep all your stuff, but it's like way harder. Wow, that propeller knight fight was super fast as well. Yeah, I didn't even go in here. It's it's weird how he keeps busting out the the uh, mobile gear. I just wonder for an extra why. Extra of damage, I think. Right, just for like one extra hit. Yeah, may as well. And yeah, this battle is somewhat randomized, or it's mostly randomized. So you you can fight these guys in any order. So he doesn't exactly know which ones are going to be coming up. Yeah. But fun fact, Polar Knight is always in the first four that you yeah. battle, just because it's so easy to get killed by the spikes that we thought, oh man, it sure would suck if you were in the back half. <laughs> because right. it happened the main time. Yeah, it happened to us, and it was just frustrating. Yeah. With Specter Knight, it was like, oh yeah, we got to put his platforms there. With Polar Knight, it was like, oh yeah, but they're like gotta have slightly the different, you know? Yeah. Like there's not enough room in this in this area to have the normal size platform. Right. Yeah, the layout is slightly different. That's like so strange, but it works. Yeah. 
Well, weird. Look how tall he is. Yeah. I just looked at him as his model for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, in Shovel Knight King of Cards, we adjusted King Knight's model to fit more within the tile space. So the, <laughs> yeah. so the one we see here is like... He's like a big giant empty. monster. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's like King Knight's dad. Right. So he's wearing his platform shoes. Yeah. Like in Symphony of the Night, right? You can, you can get platform shoes and they make your sprite stretched by like one pixel. <laughs> I forgot about that. All those relics are so weird. Yeah. So the cool. cube is, uh, oh, here you head him out. Wow. Oh, yeah, the wait. Wow, just like no no time wasted at all. Getting yeah. that mobile gear in there for one extra hit. Oh, and the charge finisher. That's just excellent. Wow, that was so good. You think he's gonna save him? No, yeah, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he's out. <laughs> I'm daggering out of you. <laughs> All right, and the secret stage. That's it. You thought it was over. Yeah, I bet you One thought. More. I bet. At the bottom of the tower, the last stage. I <laughs> <laughs> think that fooled anybody. I'm sure it did. <clears throat> uh, this is another annoying part where you just like have to wait. Someone has it easy in this one. Like you can just hold down and bounce on all those things. Yeah. But the other guys, I think, like Plague Knight in particular, I think has a hard time with those things. Yeah. Poor Plague Knight. <laughs> Poor Plague Knight. Poor Plague Knight. I'm always worried. Whoa. About that. Yeah. I'm all... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Wiggle time. <laughs> like the T is so symmetrical on his face. Yeah. It's almost like you're looking at him from the front. I wonder how this battle's gonna go. What? No, she's over there. What is the point? Oh. Oh, uh, weird. <laughs> wow, it's so fast! <laughs> oh, man. That's amazing. That boss that, be really annoying, because yeah, she can just like sit down there below right. the dirt for so long. Yeah, if you let her get down there, she'll just hover down there. You gotta wait. <laughs> hey, no waiting. Oh, great. Oh, hey. <laughs> come here. Wow. <laughs> right, because the, because the sooner you get to her, yeah, yeah. the faster you can do this whole thing. Yeah, it's This is going to be quick work also. Uh, most of the relics don't work on Remnant of Fate at all. No. Oh, come but... on, you're not even going to use Shield Knight? <laughs> That's the whole point of the game! <laughs> He's your friend. Right. And there's all the, there. we built in so many things to make it impossible to stay up there, you know? But oh, Shield Knight's you there. You just stayed up there. And that's it. Wow. 42-21. It's over, oh, Shovel Knight. Wow. wow, it was so fast. Is he going to watch the end? Yeah. <laughs> I always like how when a speedrunner finishes the game, then they let all the dialogue last a long time. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They just watch the ending, and it's like, oh yeah, now it's slow. Now it's time to just take it easy and take it slow. You can watch that whole ending. I wonder if he'll speed through the credits even. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. You can't speed. <coughs> you can't speed run the credits. If it was like fastest to get to the end, right? You like skip all the credits as fast as you can. <laughs> wow. Well, that was a pretty impressive run. It was definitely impressive. Um, what was your favorite part? Uh, I think the using using the coin along with the dust knuckles Definitely. to get yourself that little extra boost that's like really impressive tech that I just like hadn't seen before. Yeah, synchronizing the relics is like really new to me right. as well. I think that's really cool. Yeah, there's so much extra there's so much extra to work that like you're not even seeing as you're watching the game that's happening, right? Like, which is why the button input thing is so cool because you can right. see like how fast his fingers are moving. Right, you can see what's actually happening there. Yeah, switching between everything instantly like that is like it just requires so much coordination in your in your hands and your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Are we reading that right? It says the world record is forty two twenty eight by Smoggy, but the time is forty two twenty one. 
Yeah. So this is like hun mere hundredths of a second. No, that that's right. a new world record, is it? Uh, right, you, you can cut that audio out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> when it's we're too dumb. <clears throat> Good job. Yeah, it's really amazing. And there we go. Wait, it's game time. Then Black Knight brings Shovel Knight back. You throw that orange <laughs> Shovel Knight Slides right down him. on the ground there. See you Slides later. Slides away into position. He's sleeping. He's not dead. Oh, there's the credits. Oh, there's our names. Hey, oh, it's there they go. Anyway. Oh, there they all went. Uh, my uh, kids so. are right there. Okay, okay wait. <laughs> wow. And thank you to everyone. Thank you to all the players. Look, that was Smoggy with his, with yeah. his speed run. <laughs> because we put the best speed runner time in the credits. Because speedrunning is important to us. 4216. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, so... Yeah, thank you so much for for speedrunning this game. Yeah. And we really appreciate everything. It's so cool to see players playing Shovel Knight and optimizing it and doing all this cool tech. Uh, it's just, it's always a thrill to watch. So, yeah, we're just happy that we could participate in something like this. Yeah, it's really rewarding for us as creators to have people, like, really enjoy it enough to, like, really, really, really play it um, and, like, make it their own. This is something that is no longer, like, our creation. This is definitely owned by the community and, the, and everybody who loves Shovel Knight. So thank you for loving it so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks.